Why did I tie this string on my finger? I think I was supposed to remember something. And look at this lovely, uh, oh, what's your name? Flip. When did I plant your propagations in this pot? Do you need water? I think you need water, but didn't I just do that? Oh, shoot. This lovely Hoya Pachyclata. Look at that nice looking peduncle flowered last year. Seems like it's about time for it to flower again, but I don't remember when that was exactly. You guys probably have a better memory than I do, but maybe you don't. And even if you do have a good memory, but you have a bazillion plants, you might not be able to remember everything, but it's okay. Today I'm really excited because we are gonna go on a little mini plant tour with one of my plant friends who has some really beautiful plants and a really beautiful house. Um, she's gonna be showing something new that I know helps me and it helps her and I'm pretty sure it could help you too. So check it out. My name is Beth and I'm an addict. My plant addiction started when I was in high school, continued through college, and I fell off the wagon again three years ago. This relapse was particularly severe in that I began rapidly purchasing plants to make up for the years of abstinence. Steph has asked me to tell you my story and to show you a tool I use to help me provide the correct care for my house plants. When I purchase a new plant, or ideally before I purchase a new plant, I do some research on the in online, on the internet, or on YouTube to try to find out the plant's requirements for light, soil, water, fertilizer. And once I have that information, I type that information or dictate it into a free app called Way Around on my smartphone. After I have the information on my smartphone, I use these tags called Way Tags, and I tap my phone to the tag, and the information is stored in the cloud and accessed through the tag for me to read whenever I wish or to update whenever I wish. The beauty is you can put a lot of information on the tag or as little information as you like. I created a template. I have probably close to 150, 200 plants. And I could tell you all of their names, um, but... I'm really impressed that Beth can remember all the names. Um, I can too, if you have like 20 minutes to wait while I retrieve it out of this file cabinet of my brain that's a little cobwebby and Maybe got wet, I'm not sure. Some of the information is ran together, but anyway, good job, Beth. I can't tell you when I watered them last, fertilized them last, or repotted them, or where they came from, where I bought them. So my tags have a lot of information. You can put as little information as you want. It's up to your discretion. I created a template that gives the, um, the name of the plant, the soil requirement, the light requirement, the water requirement, it's all in the same order for each of my tags. Now, as I've been using them longer and longer, there are different um, categories that I have added. But this information, all I do is tap my phone to the tag and I have access to that information. So when I'm watering my plants or fertilizing my plants, I can update that information with the current tag. When you want to add more info to your tag, all you do is scan the tag, like Beth said, click where you want to insert the info and then just type or talk away. It's that easy. Let's, um, let me show you a little bit about some of the tags that I've created. Let's go over um, to give you an example of 
um, my bird of paradise. If I touch that tag, it will tell me that um, I, I can look at the dates for when it was watered and realize that, oh, that plant gets watered about every 10 days. I can also tell you that, oh, it was treated for um, with sy systemic pesticide on October 10th so that I can keep track of all of that information easily. Um, let me show you an example. We'll go over and see Babette. So this is Babette, my bird of paradise. What I do is I open the app and I touch the read button. I tap my phone to the tag and it will tell me that this is a Strelitzia nicolii. It's a white bird of paradise. Her name is Babette. Her soil preference is basic potting soil that retains water but drains well, gives the light requirement, water requirement, fertilizer schedule, any pests that she might get, a repotting schedule, propagation, and then these are the dates that she was last watered, last fertilized, last repotted. And so then I'm able to tell that roughly she gets watered about every 10 days and that her treatment, last treatment, was done on October 10th with bonide granules. So I have inputted all of this information in here to help me care for Babette better. Side note here, I was just thinking of some other things you could use the tag for. Um, you could insert the information of where the plant hailed from. So you could put the conditions of that place, which is helpful when you're taking care of that plant. I'll show you another. This is Ellie. And when I click on the read button and tap my phone to the tag, it tells me that she's a uh, alocasia uh, and she, her name is Ellie. I just have to say that I love the names that Beth has picked out for her plants. Paulette, Babette, Ellie. I named my kid Ellie. Her soil preference is any good, well-draining, peat-rich potting soil. Light requirement is indirect sunlight, and she can tolerate direct sun, but she tends to sunburn. Gives the water requirement, the fertilizer schedule, again, pest, repotting schedule, propagation, last watered, last fertilized, last repotted, and her treatments as she tends to like, the uh, spider mites tend to like Ellie. So I haven't named all my plants with like people names, but I generally, most of my plants are boys for some reason. Like when I reference them, I always say he, 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 usually. Um, so do you guys name your plants? And if you do, are they mostly male or female names? Paulette also got attacked by spider mites this year and on her tag she had I have put in information about why she might be getting brown tips or yellow tips so hers varies a little bit and so I tap the read button tap it to the tag that I have in the soil whoops read, read fail I must have moved tap it the read button tap it to the tag and it tells me that she's a majesty palm and her name is Paulette. Gives me again the soil preference, the light requirement, water requirement, fertilizer, same basic information. And then you'll notice that here it talks about pruning a little bit. Um, I've added pruning to, to some of them. As I've used it more, I've added more categories. Um, and the, then again, here's where her, what her treatment was and what her water schedule has been. I was also thinking, like sometimes I do these little experiments, but I'm really bad at documenting them. Or I document them and then I forgot where I documented that. <laughs> so, um, so like if your plant's sickly or something and you, you know, you're thinking maybe I'll move it from this north window and maybe put it in a west window or something. You could notate when you moved it to that west window and you know what it looked like when you moved it there and then then you would be able to tell better if that has helped the situation 
or not and how long it's been. Let's check on Xavier. Oh, there's a Xavier. Xavier's also includes the same basic information or same categories, but it also talks about where he was purchased from Logies and how much I spent. This is helpful in the event that it were to die and I wanted to replace it, I would know where I could get it. Or if I'm taking cuttings from a plant and I've given all my cuttings from the mother plant to people, I can keep track of who those people are in the event that um, my mother plant dies and I want to get a cutting again, I would know who to contact. Um, let's go look at Charlotte. Charlotte was one of my first plants that I tagged. And so when I touch her tag, you'll see it's a little bit more brief tells me that she's a chlorophytum camosum. Her name is Charlotte. Any good potting soil, again, the basic requirements, light requirements, water requirements, fertilizer, and then um, last repotted and water schedule and treatment. I did not include at that point in time where I purchased or how much I purchased it for. The beauty of this technology is that you can create the tags how you want them to be. So maybe you don't care about all of these. You know when you've watered or you can remember that. You don't have to put all that information in. You could just put in exactly what you want and in the order that you want it. You're creating the tags so you can make them the way you like them. Um, these tags I find are extremely helpful to me, um, particularly when it comes to watering big plants where you might get a different reading with your moisture meter. So it helps to know, gee, how, how often or when did I water this one last? Um, because I find that to be a challenge with larger plants. Um, the tags make great stocking stuffers, great gifts for yourself. Um, you can start out little and just do your special plants, the ones that are divas, the ones that don't like to have their leaves splashed, or the ones that, um, that require distilled water. You can create just tags on special plants or expensive plants, or you can go crazy like I did and tag them all. It's totally up to you and you can, you know, as I said, create the tags and do them the way you want at your discretion. So thank you for your time. My gosh, Beth's plants and her house and Beth are all so beautiful. And I'm so glad she showed us this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you're interested in this, it is going to be available in the shop here very shortly. Um, it'll probably go up on the weekend and you can check them out there. My shops, I've got the, the website and the Etsy shop. So you can check them out in the description below. And I wanna thank Beth. She's such an awesome, classy, knowledgeable, amazing, like everything looks perfect. She looks perfect, her house looks perfect, her plants look perfect. Um, and she's super nice, which is the most important thing. So thanks, Beth. I appreciate you sharing this with us. And um, you guys let me know if this, if you think this is cool or not. And um, let me know some of your favorite plant names, if you named them, and if they're mostly um, boy names or girl names. So thank you guys. I hope you have the best day of your life. And remember to plant on.